Perfect Tech Shorts. The grisly discovery of the body of a murdered 14-year-old boy recently pitted the police against the public attorney's office. The police claimed a DNA test done on the boy's remains proved he was not the missing teenager known as Culot, whose real name was Reynaldo de Guzman. But the chief public attorney, Persida Acosta, rejected the DNA findings as inaccurate based on the positive identification of the body by the boy's own parents. Now, this has piqued the curiosity of many folks who had commonly believed, no thanks to Hollywood shows like CSI, that DNA tests are indisputable. Now, we invited the CEO of DNA Hello. Solutions Philippines, a company that offers DNA testing services, to help clear up some misconceptions about this scientific process. Jaime Lazatin, thank you very much for joining us on the show. You're welcome. Now, um, so DNA Solutions, or DNA uh, Solutions, is part of another group? No, actually DNA Solutions is the, our lab in um, Australia and we really? have another lab in uh, the US. Oh. It's DNA Diagnostic okay. So none of the tests are actually done here. Done here. Why is That's that? That's correct. Oh, yeah, I think it's cheaper if we do it uh, outside the country. Uh, okay, but it's not outsourced because it's still within your own company, Tama? No, uh, it is outsourced. Ah, it is outsourced. Uh, okay, yeah. so the outsourced to a lab in Australia. And the U.S. And another one in the U.S. Yeah. Okay, so primarily, would you know why we don't have DNA testing done Actually, do na, we, na? we have. We have um, St. Luke's, NBIUP, okay. and Kamkram. Eh? Okay. That's the four that right. we have. So they're, they're able to do that in these um, um, institutions, right, yeah. or in these laboratories. And yes. what would be the difference between doing them here and outsourcing it to the lab? You know, cheaper lang. Cheaper. Oh, cheaper. cheaper um, okay. Accuracy, siguro. Accuracy Could also? Be, yeah. Okay. But what, why is that? Because what really goes be on behind the DNA testing? Would, have you actually ever seen one conducted in your laboratory so with the outsourced? Um, no. Mm. But mm. I, I, we just collect the mouth swabs for paternity. No? We so just these are the samples? Mouth yeah, swabs. mouth swabs. Okay. And then we send it to the lab. Okay. And then it goes to a uh, um, robotic system already, so no one touches it. It oh, avoids okay. the mix-up and um, How long does it usually take for the results to come out? Oh, sa lab namin, it's about two to three days. Ah, so tama yung sinabi ng PNP na pwede palang two to three days. Yeah, two to three Because days. there was a time when the, the PNP said that they can come out with DNA test results in two to three days, and the chief of the public attorney's office said, abay, kung meron palang ganun kabilis, bibili kami nun. <laughs> because the, P, the PAO said that they could only do uh, or, or get the results back after three months. Or dito lang ba yun? It depends on the samples. It depends Kasi, on the samples. Uh, yeah, mouth swabs mas madali. Okay. And then if there is, uh, like we have unusual samples like hair, toothbrush, okay. yeah. chewing gum, mas matagal yun, five days. Ah, okay. So kung kunara, you get it from a living person, sa mouth nga, uh -huh. madali yun. Yan, two to three Would it days, be yeah. difficult if you got the sample from uh, a corpse or a body? Kada yes, a and this, uh, kung decomposed na, yes, siguro, yeah, kasi Usually, ang ginagawa ng lab namin doon is um, sa bones, kinukuha. Finger mm. bone, yan. So, doon na mismo kinukuha yung DNA sample? So yeah, bone, huh? kasi hindi na pwede doon sa... Okay. And uh, the bone, bone itself would be parang sa bagay. Hindi naman nagdi-decompose, ano? Aha, uh, mas matagal siya. Because it actually yeah. Um, yeah, exists mm -hmm. longer. So, did you ever encounter in any of the tests that you may outsource to the U.S. Uh, or Australia mm -hmm. yeah. that a result came back na parang uh, inaccurate or gave a false uh, reading? Um, no, wala. Sa paternity test, it's 99.999% uh, no, uh, and above. With relationship testing, there is uh, mas, a slight uh, no, yeah, uh, mas degree of uh, error like, or accuracy. Uh, uh, brother to brother test, yeah, yeah. mas mababa yung accuracy. Okay. So, paternity test, okay, establishing whether or not you, uh, the, a person is the biological offspring yeah. of, of, of another person. No? So, but for example, yung sa kaso ni Kulot, si Reynaldo de Guzman, mm -hmm. the PNP said they conducted a DNA test on the remains of this, um, or the, the body that they found floating in a creek, Sagapan. And it turns out that it was not a DNA match to the parents who were claiming the body of the boy. Mm -hmm. So, ano kayang possible na 
nagkamali dun sa testing, if ever. Because the parents were pretty sure that they could identify the body with the physical parang marks no? and uh -huh. the clothes. Oh, siguro integrity ng samples. That's the only thing I can... Uh, mm. Because it's already a cadaver. Mahirap ng ano. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, if kung ganun pala, like you said, it would have been easier if they got the sample from the bone? The bones. It's harder, but... Uh, Mas reliable, siguro. Yeah. I don't know if they took blood samples or mm. I'm not sure. Does your company even work with law enforcement agencies? Our company, no. No. But our lab does. The lab does. Yeah. The one that you like, outsource to. Yeah. That uh, they did uh, the one for Prince. Okay. And Nicole Smith. They did. Yeah. Oh, celebrity pa palang mga client nito mga to. So, so in fact, part of the siguro credibility of these labs would be. Uh, the, the types of clientele, siguro, that they've already uh, yeah, guess, yeah. performed oh. services on, di ba? Mm -hmm. so, otherwise, baka wala naman niwala sa kanila kung mas malaki yung margin of error na baka produce no. <laughs> results nila. Yeah. Um, for, for DNA testing, um, why is it an expensive procedure? Hmm, I think it's the machines mm -hmm. that they use, yeah. And, and these machines are only found in other countries, like wala sa atin. Wala sa Nobody atin. has ever, except import, for the hospital. So, yeah, we import, mo. Yes. Or iba pa rin yung machines sa atin na ginagamit, say, compared to what you outsource. I think iba rin. Iba, iba rin. machines, no? Kanya-kanya yan, meron mm. iba-ibang klase. How many companies like yours are operating in the Philippines? Oh, I may be two. Ganun lang, ka-special ka lang, ano? Wow, okay. oh, you're a small ano, industry, ha? Huh? <laughs> and and uh, given that you're only two, Paano yung kukunari? Siyempre, pag, pag, pagalingan kayo eh. Is there... Pataga, ano na lang, kasi huh? kami, we've been uh, nine years in the business already. Nine years na? Uh -oh. Okay. And in those nine years, yung accuracy nyo, 99.999%, hindi pa naman bumababa. Ano na. <laughs> <laughs> but, ba okay yun ha? Nine years and 999.999. Ang galing ha? So, if, for example, meron ba kayong pwedeng tanggihan? na lumapit sa inyo for a DNA testing. Nara, sinabi ng police, gusto namin kayong ano, kuning second opinion. Oh, meron. Yung mga na gusto dayain yung test. Oh! <laughs> so there is a... Madami rin eh. Oo. Oh. So yun talaga tinatanggihan. So, so, so in a sense, the only way talaga magbabago yung resulta is if you actually manipulate the results. No, the samples. The samples? Yeah, because we send it to the lab. So, kung anong i-switch the samples? Yeah, switch the samples. Oh, kunwari, padala mo yung sample ng pusa mo. So, ah, yeah. hindi talaga ikaw ang anak nito. Ganun. Anak yeah. ng pusa. <laughs> <laughs> so, if, for example, ganyan, lumalabas sa balita, there's a body, they cannot identify it, DNA testing is the key. What comes to your mind? Ah, mal malalaman nila kung talagang ito Tala ngayon. Oh, oh, yeah. You don't have a doubt. Oh, yeah, it's mm. for sure. Mm. And for us, should DNA testing be something that is regularly done by law enforcement agencies? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you talk to even, you know, mga police or mga kaibigan nyo na parang, do you wonder why it's not even regularly done? Uh, because it's expensive here. Mm. That's one thing. So it's really the cost that's prohibitive. Yeah. yeah. But if it's the accuracy lang, then it's something that you should recommend. No? Yes, that's All right. right. Well, DNA testing, how far do we have to go to actually improve our own DNA testing capabilities here in the Philippines? I don't really know because mm. I don't know their, uh, their capabilities. Yeah. Mm. But the machines are the ones that you say spell a difference. Yeah. Oh, the accuracy of the machines. Mm -hmm. Who makes these machines? Iba iba. Iba iba iba. Oh. Not Russia. No, they are in uh, Rush, uh, uh, Russia, they just tamper with election machines. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm going to send a Russia to Future Perfect. Hey, thank you very much for coming over, Aimel uh, as a tin, because um, I guess one of the things that people think about DNA testing is that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a curious process, a mysterious process, but in fact, you know, for, for you, it's a quick process. Yeah. Two to three hours. Oh. Three days. Two, two, two to three, three days. days. I'm sorry. Yeah. Two to three days. So, ano pala, parang, in a sense, eh, parang ID photo. No? Pero, it takes two to three days, and then you're pretty sure 99.99%. Accuracy. Okay. Yeah. So, patatry namin dito sa <laughs> staff namin kung may, ano, ah.
kung tama yung DNA nito. Hindi siya ano yung mga DNA dito, parang nag-mutate eh. Diba? <laughs> right. Hi, Melissa Tin from um, DNA Solutions. Thank you very much. Thank Coming you. Coming Future Perfect. That's our episode for this week. You can catch part of the show on iwantv.com.ph and on tfc.tv. I'm Tony Velasquez. Join me again next week when we examine the present and look ahead to the future perfect of Philippine and global tech.